Hey everybody, welcome to another Where Games video spectacular. Today we are going to play a game called Gone Home. And most of you have probably seen it already or tried it. But I haven't, so that's what I'm going to do today. You're always like, Dave, play different games. It's exciting when you do that. And I'm like, really? That's weird, but okay. So, we're going to do that. We're going to play this one today, and uh, I know almost nothing about it. And that's the way we like it, because then I can fumble through it, and you can laugh away at me. So, here we go. Gone home. I found this on GOG.com, goodoldgames.com. Uh, it cost me, I think, $5. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the arrow keys to walk, and look around using the mouse so here we go we're loading with an old stock cassette tape that i used to use when i was a teenager because i'm old that's right but that's okay because i'm also pretty cool uh and that's the way we like it so here we go dun 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 here we go the fulbright company Presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Gone home. Here we are. I'm assuming this is home, where we've gone. When we look this way, it's not raining. When we look this way, it's louder. Hmm, let's see, looks like it's raining outside. This is our porch. This is our plug. This is our light. <gasps> there you go, we turned the lamp on. Let's see what's in here. It's a Christmas duck. <gasps> look at that. We found the house key, just from being Snoopy. Maybe we'll take the Christmas duck, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting, and there's cops. There's the mat, that's where you probably would think that we would have left the key. This is our bag. Our name is Caitlin Greenbrier. We are in Portland, 1995. What do we got here? Oops. It's a soda can. I can right mouse to check it out. Oh, it's a fizz right soda can. Okay. Good to know. We can put it there. Oh, and see, we can zoom in. Zoom. This is exciting. Look, there's a note on the door. Katie, I'm sorry, but I can't be there to see you. I'm sorry I can't be there to see you. But it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, mom and dad, to know. We'll be seeing each other again someday. Don't worry. I love you, Sam. Hmm, there was a key, but the door's open. Interesting. Oh, the light's not working very well. Let's turn the lamp on. There's a tissue box. And some mail. Mail, 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 mail. Now I think I've already missed the key to put things in my inventory. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to be reading some clues here. Like that's a thing from some place there. Okay. Well, we can come back in a sec. This is a box from the front hall, and we are indeed in the front hall. What's this? A folder. There's an invoice. From the Wellspring Movers. To Terrence Greenbrier. And this are the boxes. There should be eight in the kitchen, five in the master bedroom, six in the child bedroom, ten in the library, four... Two TVs, continued on attached worksheets, cost $2,700. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. 
But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. <laughs> I found the inventory, guys. I got the spare key, and my boarding pass. Here's a map of the house, and a journal. Okay. Now, I'm holding a box. Move the mouse to rotate what you're examining. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, how do I put that in uh, my inventory? Check items, check map, review. Uh, what does our controls say about this? Rebind controls. View backpack. Interact. View journals. Maybe we don't pick things up. I don't know. All right. Let's not sweat it right now. All right, resume. Okay. Oh, well, let's just uh, throw that there. Then we'll come back for it in a minute. And this looks like this is us. That must be me up at the top there. So this is interesting because the game's telling us things without actually having to tell us things. That's kind of cool. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to the new house. Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him is because he had a Nintendo when we were little. So that might be a clue. Maybe Daniel came and did something suspicious. We're still assuming something suspicious has happened. Let's play some messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. Alright, so, what do we know? We know that we're here and that some people have... No one is supposed to be here to pick us up. Uh, oh, that could be me. Maybe I'm military. Cool. There's an obituary here. Oscar Mason from Boone County. His nephew is of survivors, include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier. Ah, uh -huh, I think that's my dad. Da -da 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 -da. There's a deck of cards here. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're slowly discovering things. Hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things. We're eating a petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop. Sam, I'm going to bring you something back from the Shakespeare Company since you're my favorite sister. All right. Hey, here's a super creepy dark room. And what's in here? Bookcase, bookcase. Complete I Ching is the only book that I can read the title of wonder if that's relevant in some way. And Atonement, which was made into a film. And lots of... Oh, there's a fan. Sometimes that does things to things. Electrical inspection of warm wiring in the house is technically up to pressure. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into a structure. Blah, blah, blah. Unpredictable lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on the floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Blah, blah, blah. Working in the garage will be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and structure of the house. 
So, the lights may go on and off on us, and we may be able to affect the circuits somehow. Oh, there's a combination on that. I don't know the combination yet. Some crumpled pages. Looks like someone was writing something. Da 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 da. He's a long way from home, but the future needed him. Matter transference. Sorry, I'm reading it rather quickly, I'm assuming that. You're not that interested in what it has to say. It looks like someone was writing some science fiction y stuff, which we can always come back and check again later. Alright, so this is kind of fun. We're getting a feel for the game here. This is Dad's office, Terry Greenbrier. It's a three ring binder. Did not give me the option to open it. But we could put it on the desk, I guess. Oh, we're just dropping it on the floor and stuff. Okay, we'll close that for now. There's a glass. Dad's typewriter. We can read what he was writing. So, let's see. Uh, this is like a ad to sell some kind of a really super expensive disc player. You can do better. Back to basics. Sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again. Oh, why not disrupt motorcade events before Magic Bullet? This is all about JFK. Mmm, interesting. I wonder if Dad went back in time or something like that. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. It's possible. And, wow, this is a big house, eh? This is another set of shelves. I'm sure some of these books will be relevant in some way. Or, I shouldn't say I'm sure. I assume... Since it's a video game, that that's what will happen. It's a box cover. Oh, Dad's clearly a writer. Oh, they look at that. Accidental Pariah. So Dad wrote this book about JFK. That's kind of fun. Uh, that looks like a little panel. No? Okay. And so many lights and things. Grab the coaster. We can flip the coaster around, okay. Tissue box. Put it back. Look at the magazine, ah! True stories. I was a teenage drag queen, 90210. Does anybody still care? Alright. There's a plant. Oh, look, I can see something through there. It's like there's another plant behind the other side of this thing. Oh, dude, there's totally something over there. Oh, it could just be another row. A stranger under my roof. By Dr. Elisa Medina. Mm. Is there a stranger under my roof? I hope not. Yeah, look at this. See, because I could see behind there. And there's something back there. I know there is. So it said before, if we press 2, we can see, look, there's the library. So we're learning about the house and how things are set up in the house here. Dun, 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 dun. And we're sort of checking stuff over. We're not trying to get too in-depth, because I don't want to bore you silly. Um, huh! Oh, it's just a closet, you guys. Don't freak out. All right, you're freaking me out. What's this? A note. Welcome, new student. From the principal of Goodfellow High. Bring with you sturdy folder, one line notebook, six color. Okay, so it looks like this is this the backpack. Oh my God! From Sam's you first day of school. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So it's the first day of school, and there I am introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Alright, so this house has a bit of history. What else is in here? 
some kind of note. Here's a story. The Heaven at the End of the World by Samantha. Part 1, The Turtle People. Captain Allegra went on. Okay, so this is a story. Two page long story. It may be important. We will come back and look at it. Sam thought this might help making friends. Press C or control to crouch. Oh, so we might be able to see things that we couldn't see if we were standing up. Might have to plug something in. Severe weather warning. Read the shipping label. From David Wearing at Hi-Fi Aficionado, Hi -fi Aficionado Magazine. Coaster guys, come on! It's, it's Mum's old work mug. Oh, Mum worked for the Forestry Service. Dad was gonna tape the X Files, or somebody was. Okay. So there's candles there. There's a matchbook. Oh, of course it's empty. Boo. Ah, uh, there was a tape over here. I thought maybe I would, should put that in. It's called Role Model. It's just a band, maybe. There's a letter here from Mike. Oh, from the dad's editor. Da -ba -da -ba -da. I'm looking for hi fi aficionado. So it looks like dad was going to work on. Oh, okay. Good lord, that's left. So dad was working on a review for a CD player of some kind. I don't see it, it seems to be gone. There's plugs there where it would have been. Oh look, it's a book about haunting and polter poltergeists. Interesting. So, what was in here? Maybe we can crouch and have a look. What's this button? From the Bratmobile. Checkbook in there, nice. All right, this is fun. It's sort of slowly giving us the narrative as we go. And nothing super creepy or startling has happened yet. I may do some jumping if that does happen, by the way. There's a bunch of coupons and a pamphlet. It's from the U.S. Forestry Manual, so that must be Mom's, because that's where she worked. And this is, what, somebody else's? gigantic library. Oh, this is the hi-fi room. Uh, looks like some shot glasses left out. Some soda cans. There's a bottle of something. There's like a... Let's see what that is. So more things for us to read. Donald Fripp's publisher. Oh, no, they're not going to be able to publish the follow-up to the accidental pariah. Uh-oh. That's a bit sad for Dad. Uh, okay, and there's some alcohol here. Interesting, interesting. What's in here? Got a need for you. Pencil on the floor. World history textbook. Oh, it's Sam's work on the reproductive system. And she wrote a worksheet on the menstrual cycle. 
see me. <laughs> it's kind of fun that she got into, uh, she's, she added a bit to her story instead of just writing a straight up thing, but she added a whole story to it. And it was more about these strangers meeting than it was about the what it should have been about. So that's kind of fun. Here's another light lamp. And some records. I'm so sure that I'm just totally missing a bunch of things here. But we're just doing our first little cursory walk around the house. Unless there's something I don't know about and something jumps out and kills me. Katie, please tell Mom and Dad about the stuff that's missing. Please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. What's missing? There's dice, there's lip balm, coupons, some markers. Hi, Lonnie. So you want to come over to my house this afternoon? That would be so really cool. I could drive. It's kind of far, but I could drive. From Samantha, we can meet in the parking lot after six. I'm totally in. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. All right, so the mystery thickens. And we've kind of explored that wing. There was a locked door heading to the basement, which we did not open. And this looks like another little closet. And what's in here? Board game called Over the Alps, a traveling novella game. This is Mom's jacket. There's stuff and things. And there's a lamp. So it's mostly just a lot of opening drawers, reading some letters. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. This new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Little dorm room we shared when we were miserable. So I wanted a mansion. You said I should get a house in the woods, so I got both, so we have a mansion in the woods. Shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level since we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. How are the girls doing? Also... Oh, has Katie left on her big adventure yet? So this is a letter to my mom, whose name is Jan. We might have known that already. And I'm just not paying enough attention. Okay, so what's down here? This place has so many phone books. And cabinet, cabinet, and cabinet, cabinet. And creepy skull. Issue in Mexico. Pick up one of my trophies. Track and field. Nice. So I'm a runner. Ooh. And long jump. Nice. The Tombs of Youth. And Herman Melville. Okay. Register. Oh, that door's locked too. I have a key. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do something to make that key work or if I have a key if it will automatically do its thing. So Let's go upstairs a little bit. Just turn all the lights on because eh, we don't want to be alone in a creepy house with no lights on, do we? I'm not into that. Uh, what's this? Newspaper clipping. Schedule burn. Janet, that's my mom, said that they'll be doing stuff between 5 and 5 a.m. No, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly into Thursday. And I'm sure I should be keeping track of days and stuff, but I haven't been doing that yet. Uh, grab the comb. 
Oh, it is indeed a comb. Personal calendar. Okay, let's see. Monday. Couples. Brawling, driving. I can't really read. It. Cooking class. Dun, 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 dun. Cook the big meal for Carrie and Sam on Friday. So it looks like Mom was taking cooking classes and ballroom dancing. I was planning on cooking a big meal. Here's a form. Personnel transfer for the burn operation. So Mom is in charge of moving that stuff around. And... What's this? Cassette tape. Oh, it's another Bratmobile. Oh. For Sam. You're gonna like this one. Right, that was probably the tape that we found. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. All right, so that was the tape that we found before. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be good for you, so they want Sam to maybe think she'd be a good writer. So this is clearly Sam's room. And there's some stuff and things. I bet you this is another whoever that band was. Oh, a different band, the Misfits. And reboarded nail polish. Here's a bunch of classics. There's always crumpled up paper. We like those. Uh oh, disciplinary referral. Oh, she was wearing buttons. Oh, a, no, a t shirt that said Pab's Blue Ribbon on it. So she got in trouble. So it seems like Sam's been getting into a bit of trouble. Oh, Sam has two doors to her room. That's a little weird. I guess maybe not that weird. Let's crouch down because there's probably stuff under Sam's bed. Oh, she, this is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done. So either my dad is helping Sam build a motorcycle or someone else's dad is helping them. And here's another Groove magazine. Veruca Salt wants it now. I like Veruca Salt. They were good. Uh, what's this? Steggy or Steli? Oh. Do, do, do. Steggy. It's Steggy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And Sam's a bit of an X-Files fan. And she's got a lock. We don't know the combination yet. Huh. This is kind of fun. Bunch of 80s celebs. Oh, we don't know the combination yet. We could just try a bunch of combinations. But There's a cup. Oh, look. This one's been taken out too. Cartridge. What's this game? Adventurous, the cat returns. Oh, some Mortal Kombat moves. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. There's a drawer. And a cassette. Bratmobile. Sliding door, sliding door. Like games. Oh, and it's one of those things where you have to try to see what it is. I'm terrible at those, but maybe I can see it later. Okay, that was loud. Or I'm just old. One of the two. Uh, is this Sam's? Oh, it's a closet. Okay. And string. Sam's board game. I've got your number. It's a chapter of a book she was reading. And maybe or maybe she wrote. Following in Dad's footsteps. And what's
what's this book? The Holy Bible. All right. What's this plaque? Samantha. Yay. Put it on the wall. Oops, it fell. Okay, so lots of stuff in Sam's room. That looks like a piece of paper underneath. What is this note? From Lonnie. I wrote this from first period. Left in your life. So what the cool kids want to do. Write me back. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. Your drawing was so good, I added a background. I like it. Alright, so Sam has a friend named Lonnie, and she also has a friend named Daniel that we know of. There's a drawer that's over on the side here. That's a bit weird. Don't know why it's over there. And this is her... flag. Jolly Roger flag. Uh, okay, so... That was Sam's room. This is a bathroom, pretty clearly. There's faucets. There's a cabinet. Toothpaste. All the sort of stuff you'd expect. In a bathroom. Oh, that one's broken. Okay. What's this? this? Looks like some kind of hair dye. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Dealing with roots. Our, oh, I thought we were going to go to Narnia for a second. Okay, so this must be Mom and Dad's room. Looks like a bunch of the clothes were kind of... Drawers were open and clothes were pulled out. Aw, oh, Mitten. I drew that. Don't tell me I didn't. I know I did. Uh, okay. So, something right there. What's that? Do we have to crouch? Ah, there's a book under the bed. Oh, it's Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass. Hooray. Let's throw it over there for now, because I want to see what this is. Bookmark. From Timberlands. Oh, I'm glad. Take your time, I'm glad to have it in good hands. So this book came from, apparently, Rick. I don't know if I'm actually able to open the binders or not. Maybe I'll figure that out at another point. And another letter from Carol. Da -da 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 -da. Control burns. Quite the adventure. Ranger Rick, you have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. Uh-oh. Somebody named Rick involved in Mom's life. Mm. And not Dad, because his name's Terrence. Mom and Dad's closet. Watercolors for florals. Oh look, a ghost game. Ghost Escape from Ghost Mansion. A few of the shades you may encounter. The brother, the cowboy, and the widow. As you escape, attempt to escape from... Ghost Mansion. Hopefully there's no ghosts in this mansion, but I have a feeling something terrible is going to happen at some point. Mom's purse. Now, can we open Mom's purse? Maybe there's a second level of, like, dealing with stuff. Maybe they've already told me and I'm just too thick to realize it. Oh, it's from me. I'm in the channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was Mom and Dad's room. And open the door. 
Katie, Mom, and I were going to make up the rest of the guest room just for you to stay in, but you came in such an order, so we're not to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Uh-oh. I hope Sammy didn't leave. She's my sister, and I care deeply for her. Uh, there's a bunch of boxes. So it looks like we just moved to this house not too, too long ago. Hey, Sam. You were asking me what my JR... Oh, okay, so uh, Lonnie's in the ROTC. Orienteering, Rifle Team, Adventure Training. Mm. Composition, Ghost Hunter Journal. Uh-oh. Tall shadow appear in an upstairs hall. No one was there. Faint voice from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Poured milk from the carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure that spirits can sour milk. Milk was bought just yesterday. Uh, Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. Da, 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 da. Enlisted Lonnie stamp all night and patrol premises, recording signs of otherworldly premises. Lonnie recorded many presents, possible ectoplasm in the room. Sample taken just in case. Okay, so Sam thinks there might be something suspicious. Hey, it's my stuff. Cool. It doesn't look like there's anything that I can deal with in there. So this is my room, I guess. Then I'm assuming this is the guest room. And there is some flowers. And someone was doing a watercolor of flowers. And there's a bowl. And a lamp. Examine form. Uh, let's see. Performance evaluation of Janice. Oh, Mom's been doing a great job. But it was Rick that did the... Oh, she's ex she's saying that Rick is doing a good job. Okay. I think Mom might possibly be fooling around with Rick. I, do I can't confirm that. It's only a suspicion at this point. Halloween show. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. And then she up she and hugged tell. me. This sounds like uh, uh, Sleater Kinney, who I quite like. Holy crap, I was looking in the library, I found something in the corner, and I found a secret passage, and it had Oscar's Creek Yield stuff in it. Upstairs hall, closet to the library. Hmm, from Mom and Dad's bedroom. Cool. Look, it's an old-timey uh, stuff and thing. This is like a little sewing table. Oh, pretty sweet. Okay. Looks like the band is called Heavens to Betsy. That's okay. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Don't even know how to enter. Oh, and it's locked, of course. Sam. Locking everything. Okay, so if we go into Mom and Dad's bedroom. Oh, this is the one door we didn't go through. Oh, no, this is their bathroom. And we turn the lights on. 
And there's a slidey door. And after the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse. And the faucets. It's like we're inspecting the house ourselves. We're just testing things. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to call this first chapter to a close. Thanks very much for watching. This has been a Wear Games video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, leave us some feedback because we really like that. Thanks very much. Bye.